your voice and worship the miracle working God, the destiny helper, our source, our sustainer, our yesterday, our today, the great deliverer. Can you magnify his holy name? The psalmist says, 
magnify the Lord with me. Let us exalt his name together. Give him glory. The one that did not allow the enemy to triumph over you. The one that preserved your going out and your coming in. The one that kept fighting your battle. The one that did not allow the enemy to prevail over you. Give him glory this morning. Just thank him right now. Just thank him for all he has done, for all he is doing, for all he will yet do. Tell God that you are grateful to him because he's awesome, he's mighty, he's powerful. No one to be compared unto our God in power, in glory, in might, in honor. Our God is the only talk and do. He speaks and it is done. Give him glory this hour. Thank him, thank him, thank him for your life. In Jesus' most wonderful name, we are praying. I thought somebody would say a better amen. amen. He touched my life with his hand. My, my life changed. Oh, yes, Lord. He touched, he touched my, my life, life with his hand. My blood became a new one. Jehovah touched my life with his hand. My life changed. Oh, man, to rule. Oh, man, to rule to my God. Oh, oh, my to rule, to rule my God. Don't go where I bow I to rule to my God. Oh, Sing it one more time. Oh, man, to rule to my God. Oh, my way. Because he will touch you today. Ah, Jehovah meant to rule to my God all my way. Can you lift up your two hands to heaven and say, Father, I am eagerly in need of change. Change in my life for better. Change in my situation. Change in my circumstances. Oh God of oh heaven and earth, arise and touch me with your hand of change that my story may change that my song may change touch me right now can you go ahead and touch the almighty God ask the almighty God to touch you with his hand of miracles, signs and wonders paribo to kashiantale brande kasuntale ah Lord touch us oh God Lord touch us oh God Lord touch us oh God Lord, we need a change. We are eagerly awaiting your change. Lord, transform our life, O oh God. Thank you, mighty Father. In Jesus' mighty name, change will come upon you. Lift up your two hands to heaven and cry loud and clear one more time and say, Father, every area of my life that the enemy are still exerting authority and dominion. O oh God, my Father, by your power and by your fire, perform miracles in my life today and overthrow every works of darkness. Go ahead, talk to the Almighty God. Every area of your life that the enemy has still exerting authority and dominion, let God perform wonders in your life and overthrow every work of wickedness, every works of darkness in the name of Jesus, that the wicked will not prevail. Raputa payanda la leka suntalia, reke kete kakuta ba, zaza la brade kasuta limama kashentele. Thank you, mighty Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Finally, put your two hands on your head and say, Father, from the crown of my head to the teeth of my toe, lay your healing virtue, lay your wonder-working power. Flow now, flow now from the crown of my head to the tips of my toe. Let your healing power flow through me. Let your healing virtue deliver me. Go ahead, church of Almighty God. Karika Kota Kasa Tundile. Yes, let the healing virtue of the Most High God pass through all this morning. Sakule Bakuta Yakata. Rekekekekekeke. Will not leave you with any sickness, with any diseases. In the name of Jesus, Kari Prakuto Gazian Talibaba, 
Oh, let the healing virtue of the Lord flow from the crown of your hair to the teeth of your toe and make you whole. Zazala Pakota Kasiatale. Lord, let the healing virtue flow. Make me whole right now, oh God. Every pain, let them cease, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Hey, Karianda La Baba. Evacuate every satanic implantations in the name of Jesus. Anything disturbing our body, soul, and spirit. Lord, release us to its hour. Thank you, mighty Father. In Jesus' precious name, we are praying. Mighty and everlasting Father, I want to say thank you. Faithful God, we appreciate you. Thank you for what you did last Sunday. Thank you for what you did throughout last week. Thank you for what you're beginning today. Thank you, O God, for hearing our cry. Daddy, accept our thanks in the name of Jesus. This day, O God, Father, we are asking, O God, that you will touch us. Lord, touch us, O God, and let our expected change come. Lord, touch us, O God, as we eagerly await a change. Change in our situation, in our circumstances, a change in our song. In the name of Jesus, mighty and everlasting Father, we are asking, O God, Father, because you are the God of wonders, Lord, from the crown of our head to the tips of our toes, let your healing virtue flow. Perform wonders, perform miracles. In the name of Jesus, thank you, mighty Father. As we go to your word, speak expressly to us. Lord, as every declaration and pronouncement proceed from your altar in the life of everyone, oh God, that they, let there be a performance. Thank you, mighty Father. For we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. I thought the Lord going to say better and louder. Amen. amen. Before you sit down, check out with your neighbor and say, neighbor, I love you so, so much. But I can tell you, sir, I can tell you, man, I am living here this day with my miracle far bigger than your own. I believe that shout hallelujah. Let's please be seated in this person. You are almost welcome in Jesus' name. Just to remind us that our good morning Holy Spirit continue tomorrow morning. And because we'll be talking about the mantle of goodness and mercy, we still encourage you to come with your handkerchief and come with your anointing oil. And by the special grace of God, next Sunday will be first of uh, October. And so we'll be taking authority over the month. And that will be happening only in the first service. Only in the first service. So if you want to join us in taking authority over the month, that means it will pay you to attend first service. Praise the Lord. And of course, next Sunday will be our Thanksgiving service. You are not excited about that. You know the things we do during our Thanksgiving service. And our team for the month of October will be divine distribution. And our Bible passage for next week will be, for next month rather, will be Psalm 68. Psalm 68 verse... Um, uh, verse what now? 19, verse 19. Praise the Lord. Because there is a God that daily loaded all with what? We benefit. And he will load us in October. Get your sheep ready that will carry the load. Set free by goodness and mercy. This time around, I will read Luke chapter 10. Sorry, Luke chapter 13, verse 10 to 17. Luke 13, verse 10 to 17. And he was teaching in one of the synagogues on the Sabbath. And behold, there was a woman who had a spirit of infirmity. How many years? Yeah, you are not with me because they are not projecting it on the screen. For 18 years, and was bowed together, and could in no wise lift up herself. I pray for you that will be lifting for you. And when Jesus saw her, he called her to him and said unto her, Woman, thou art loose from thy infirmity. And he laid his hand on her, and immediately she was made straight and glorified God. 
I know somebody already have received a touch. And the ruler of the synagogue answered with indignation because that Jesus had healed on the Sabbath day and said unto the people, There are six days in which men ought to walk. In them therefore come and be healed, and not on the Sabbath day. The Lord then answered him and said, Thou hypocrite, doth not each one of you on the Sabbath lose his ass or his ass from the store and lead him away to watering? And ought not this woman, being a daughter of Abraham, whom Satan had burned, lo, these eighteen years be loosed from his born on the Sabbath day, and when he had said this thing, all his adversaries were ashamed. The hour has come, and now is the time that all your enemies shall be ashamed. And all the people rejoice. There is somebody here this morning in that name that's above every other name. God will orchestrate rejoicing. And all the people rejoice for all the glorious things that were done by him. Praise the Lord. Praise the mighty Jesus. Here we find a story similar to that of Mark chapter 3. Verse 1 to 5. In Mark 3, 1 to 5, the Bible was telling us about the man with the withered hand. And in Luke chapter 13, verses 10 to 17, the Bible is telling us about a woman who had been bound for 18 years by the powers of infirmity. But thank God for who God is. He is the great healer and he is the great deliverer. I pray for somebody here this morning. It doesn't matter thing that have bound you, that have made you remain in bondage. The Lord will set you free today. If you are saying amen, say it loud and clear. Of course, there are many lessons to be learned from this Bible passage, just like we looked in first service and in second service. The first lesson that I want us to look at in this third service is that Weeping may endure till a night, but joy will come one day. Psalm 30 verse 5. Psalm 30 verse 5 says, For his anger endure but a moment. In his favor is life. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy cometh in the brethren. It is very, very possible. That when you take a look at your situation and uh, your condition, suddenly you want to be hopeless. Suddenly you want to write yourself off. Suddenly you want to begin to doubt God. Suddenly you want to begin to doubt the ability of God to heal you. Praise the Lord. But in the Bible passage we just read, it does not matter the number of years that infirmity had bound this woman. A day came because the, the word of God is written for everything under the sun. There is time and season. Ecclesiastes chapter, uh, Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verse 1 to 8. I am praying for somebody here this morning that whatever may be your situation, an end will come to it. Maybe you will stand on your feet straight away. There is an expiring day to every situation. And I know you came here this morning with an expectation. And I decree over your life, whatever ailment you have been nursing, whatever situation that have bowed your head, may it expire today. So you lift up your two hands. I don't know what is taking tears from your eyes. You'll be weeping profusely because the situation ceased to go. But I have good news for you. There is always a day. Listen to me, that this woman had been in infirmity for 18 years did not stop Jesus from ending that problem. I want you to lift up your toe and cry loud and cry to the Almighty God and say, Father, you know everything about my life. It doesn't matter how long my predicament. It doesn't matter how long I've been waiting. 
It doesn't matter how long I'll be bound. Oh God, my Father, Ara, let there be a change of season in my life. Can you go ahead and cry to the Almighty God for a change of season? Brother, pray with all your heart, with all your mind. Ask God for a change of season. A change, a change, a change, a change, a change, a change. Oh, 18 years of infirmity does not mean it will not go. I don't know what doctors are diagnosed you. I don't know what you have been suffering. I don't know what your situation is. But my God can end it today. Everything on earth have an expiration date. Let today be expiration day for that sickness. Let today be expiration day for joblessness. Let today be expiration day for loneliness. Let today be an expiration date for suffering. Let today be expiration day for love, for lack and poverty in your life. Ah, my Rebecca Santalia. Thank you, mighty Father. In Jesus. Mighty name, we are praying. Stretch out your hands to the altar. I stand at the servant of the Most High God, and instantly there will be a confirmation that every long standing problem in your life, every long standing predicament and circumstances, I decree they expire today in the name of let God bring it to an end. Everything that be causing you nightmare, everything that have made you sleepless, I decree, let an end come to it in the name of Jesus. It doesn't matter how long you have been in sorrow, your joy come this morning. Your joy come this morning. Your joy come this morning. You are able to say it louder. And a better put your hands together for Jesus. Hallelujah. Be seated. Whenever your time of miracle, goodness, and mercy comes, your enemy are put to shame. Your enemy are what? Put to shame. The second lesson to learn here is that. The enemies of this woman, the Bible says, were all ashamed. And normally, like a politician became popular by a song. Before, I don't love to sing the song. But when I now read my Bible, particularly this passage, I now discovered that it's not a, a, a bad song to sing. I see the sweet us. <laughs> Let somebody shout hallelujah. <laughs> I can't hear loud and clear. <laughs> what did I just say? Because my Bible says, listen to me, listen to me. Listen, it's in the Bible. It's in the Bible. Because your own sweetness will start. And the pain of your enemy are just starting. I see the sweet us. <laughs> ha, praise the Lord. <laughs> amen and amen and amen. Read what the Bible says. And when he has said these things, when Jesus spoke, brethren, the pain of your enemy is about to start. And your own sweetness and rejoicing is about to start. Who is God speaking to? I didn't know that it is scriptural. I was thinking that Abba, how could he talk kind of that kind of thing? They sweet us, they pain them. Praise God. But the Bible says, when he has said this thing, all his adversary were, what do you call that one? <laughs> and then, look at the nature. And all the people rejoice for all the glorious thing. Why some are Rejoicing, some are ashamed as if they sweet us, if they pain them. Can I pray for only one person? Oh, I want to pray for only one person. I decree, sir, you will rejoice this season. You are ending this month rejoicing. 
and your enemies shall be ashamed and it will pain them uh huh it will pain them I say it will pain them I say it will pain them don't that does not want your situation to change it will pain them because they will see your situation change put your hand together for Jesus when you are singing that song and anybody asks you why are you singing, say it's in the Bible. That your, your pastor show you in the Bible. Where the enemy were ashamed and the people were rejoicing. Can I ask you, sir, between shame and rejoicing, which one do you prefer? As he did sweet us. Be seated in his presence. <laughs> Amen, somebody. That is God for you. That is who for you? That is God for you. And that is why the third lesson is this. When God wants to set you free, He set you free totally. When He wants to set you free, how does He set you free? That's why the Bible says, He who the Son of Man set free. What happened to Him? He's free indeed. How do I know? Brethren, the problem in the life of this woman was just beyond infirmity. She alone carried infirmity. She alone, the Bible says, was bound. She alone, the Bible says, bow. She could not straighten herself. Amen, somebody? But one pronouncement from the Almighty set her free totally. Can I ask you, sir? Can I ask you? What kind of freedom do you want today? Partial, temporary, permanent, and total. Which one do you want? I said, which one do you want? My Bible says she was set free and she was made whole. And she could stood straight, stand on your feet. You are going to use your mouth to pray and say, Father. I know you can do it. Every problem of my life, solve all of them. Let there be solution to every problem in my life. Is somebody praying at all? Brother, can you pray? Can you pray? Can you pray? The solution we call Kalima Kasianta Limama Zekete Lebra Kato Kasianta Limama. Oh, my sin, Tali Mama. Skele, Baba, Baba, Baba. Se kato le braka shan, Tali. Sakote le braka shan, Tali Mama. Skata, Baba, Baba, Baba. Kashen te lele kasun, Tali. Saton de lema kasin, Tali. Thank you, mighty Father. In Jesus, mighty name, we are praying. Put forth your head to the altar. Let me pray for you, brother. I want you to exercise your faith. My joy is that what God has done before, He can do it again. It doesn't matter how many are your situation. The Bible says, Many are the affliction of the righteous. He said, But the Lord delivered them from them all. I stand upon this altar. Every problem you brought here every problem that have been in your life eh? let God grant you solution for them all every physical problem in your life let them receive solution every marital problem in your life let them receive solution every spiritual problem in your life let them receive solution every problem in your business is let them receive solution Every problem in your career, let them receive solution. Every problem in the life of your children, in your spouse, let them receive solution. Let all your problems be solved. And so shall it be. In Jesus' name. The God that delivered her totally will deliver you totally. You are that to say a better amen. Be seated in his presence. Brethren, this woman was single out. If you read the book of Numbers, chapter 6, 
verse 23 to 26 Moses spoke to Aaron as a priest how God want the children of Israel to be blessed he said anytime Aaron will stand as high priest to bless the children of Israel he said this is the pattern that he must take and God want to bless somebody now I said God want to bless somebody now can you stand on your feet speak unto Aaron and his sons saying on this wise ye shall bless the children of Israel saying unto them the Lord bless thee and keep thee you, don't, where, you will get to know why I'm quoting this place I repeat the Lord bless thee and keep thee the Lord make his face shine upon thee and be gracious unto thee the Lord lift up his countenance upon thee and give thee peace Beloved, the greatest thing that happens when goodness and mercy is at work, one major assignment, one major assignment, why you must receive a miracle, why you must be promoted, why you must be lifted, why wonders must happen in your life, is that you may have peace. Brethren, the one in trouble have lost peace. The one in sickness have lost peace. The one in poverty and lack has lost peace. Sir, ma, after 18 years, for the first time, this woman knew true peace. There is somebody here today. Every peace that have eluded you, today you have peace. That day she was restored, she knew peace. And you know, this prayer that I prayed, everything happened to that woman that day. Do you know why? First, she was not the only one in the synagogue. But the face of Jesus feasted on her. The face of Jesus shined upon her. Just as we have in the book of Acts chapter 3, where Peter said to the layman, Look at us. Amen, somebody. And then the Bible says, she was lifted up. She was what? Lifted up. Lifted up out of trouble. Lifted up out of her predicament. Lifted up out of problem. I am praying for you. There will be a lifting for you. Amen. Then at the end, she obtained peace. Brother, you pray your last prayer point before I minister. And I know my God will answer you. Amen. Each of your two any miracle that does not give you peace is not a miracle. Any blessing that does not give you peace is not a blessing. Anything that happened to you and peace is not involved, sir, is not of God. The only thing that shows this is from God is the peace that follows. Lift up your tray to heaven. This way I will round up because of time. And you now say, Father. Father. Say, Father. Father. It doesn't matter things that have troubled my soul. Or things troubling my life. Lord, on every side. Give me peace now. Peace in my body. Peace in my soul. Peace in my heart. Peace in my marriage. Peace in my workplace. Peace in business. Peace in my finances. Lord, give me peace. Can you go ahead and talk to the Almighty God? Can you ask the Lord to give you peace? Can you ask the Lord to give you peace? Lord, I need peace. Peace, peace, peace. Peace on every side. 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 Thank you, Mighty Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying.
Offer your hands to the altar. Before I pray, I don't know if there's anyone here who does not know the Prince of Peace. How can you have peace when you don't know the Prince of Peace? To know the Prince of Peace is to accept Jesus Christ who is the Prince of Peace according to Isaiah 9-6 into your life. When he heal, he give peace. When he deliver, he give peace. When he set free, he give peace. When he manifests as the Lord of hosts and fight your battle, he give you peace. But you must come to him. You must do what? He say, come unto me, all ye that labor and a heavy landing. Say, I will give you rest. Another word for rest is peace. I don't know who you are. Even as you are standing here, your heart is troubled. You came this morning because you want God to do something. But you have a role to play. And your own role is simply surrendering to him. It's simply turning back from your ways, your sinful ways. And allow him to have his way. And the peace that have eluded you for years, just like this woman with infirmity, 18 solid years, peace eluded her. But the lesson is that that day she received her peace. My God wants to give you peace. If only we come to him. Before I pray, if you want to come to him, that may have mercy on you and give you that peace. You are the only one to lift the hand up now above your head. And I pray with you. God bless you, sir. God bless you, man. You are raising it above your head. Can you raise it and let me see you before I pray for you? Is anybody like that? Is anybody like that? Is anyone? Okay. If there's not anyone, that means your blood is not upon me. Now stretch out your hands to the altar. I want, I want your amen to be louder than anybody. Mighty and everlasting Father. Prince of Peace is your name. This woman, after several years of a troubled heart, a troubled soul, you manifested yourself in her life as the Prince of Peace. And you gave her peace. I don't know how many troubled hearts are here right now. I don't know as many hearing us online with a troubled soul. I stand as your son and servant and I decree peace in the name of Jesus. As you say that, amen. Receive peace in your body in the name of Jesus. As you say that, amen. Receive peace in your soul in the name of Jesus. As you say that, amen. Receive peace in your marriage and in your home in the name of Jesus. As you say that, amen. In your workplaces, receive peace in the name of Jesus. In your business, you receive peace in the name of Jesus. When the Lord set free, He will restore peace. I pray for this nation that God will set Nigeria free in the name of Jesus. Free from bandits, free from terrorists, free from kidnappers, free from wicked politicians. And grant peace to our land in the name of Jesus. Every family that you represent, I decree nothing shall trouble you anymore. And that miracle you desire for coming here this morning, 
I set myself in pastoral agreement with you and I ask my father the miracle worker to perform that miracle in your life in an emotion the Egyptians that you used to see you shall see them no more in an emotion may your rejoicing begin may your rejoicing increase may your rejoicing multiply may all your problems be over in the name of God the Father God the Son God the Holy Spirit can you say that amen three powerful I want to go